guys. So the book that we're going to read today is called Richard Wright in the Library Card. This is a non-fiction book, and as you guys know, that means that it is true. It really happened. It's telling facts, and it's a special kind of non-fiction book because it's telling us facts um, about someone's life, and that is Richard Wright. And so as we're reading this story today, we're going to be focusing on cause and effect. And so while you're thinking about cause and effect, I want you to think about a car coming down the road and hitting a pumpkin. The pumpkin explodes, okay? So effect is what happens. That's the pumpkin exploding. Cause is why it happened, the car coming down the road. So first you look for a specific moment in the text when the car hits the pumpkin. You're going to read a little bit before the event. So that's the car coming down the road. You're going to read a little bit after the event. That's it hitting the pumpkin and exploding. And then you're going to look for evidence to kind of explain why did that happen. It happened because the car hit the pumpkin. Okay, and good readers do this so that they can figure out why things happen in the story. So like I said, we're going to read a biography today. It's about the life of Richard Wright. He um, was one of the greatest writers in history, and he lived at a time when people weren't always treating African Americans fairly. And like many others who changed history, he grew up really poor with limited opportunities. But just like others who changed history, he made the best of the situation. And the story we're going to read today is similar to some of the famous stories about Richard Wright during his lifetime. So this story is about some things he experienced as a young man. Um, it didn't exactly happen this way, but it's told a little bit differently so that we can understand about what it was like to be an African-American during that time. So remember that we are going to be focusing on cause and effect using this nonfiction book. So remember that we are working on cause and effect. Effect is what happens, cause is why it happens. We figured this out so that we can understand why things happen in the story. All right, so let's get started. Richard Wright and the library card. Richard loved the sound of words. He loved the stories his mom, mom told about the farm where she grew up. There was a willow tree by the bend in the river, she explained. I dreamed all my girl dreams down there. Richard loved to hear his grandfather tell about the war, about how he ran away from his master and fought the rebel army. I was only a boy, his grandfather said proudly, but I fought as well as any man. I fought in the rain and the mud. I carried the flag at the head of the troops. Richard longed to read stories on his own, but his family was very poor. They moved often, looking for work in different towns and cities. His father cleaned office buildings. His mother cooked in the kitchens of wealthy white people. Richard had a little chance to go to school. His mother taught him when she could reading the funny papers out loud, sounding each word carefully. When Richard finally learned to read, he couldn't buy or borrow the books he wanted so badly. Books were expensive. The doors of the library were shut against him because he was black. So Richard read whatever he could find. Old newspapers, books without covers, pulled from ash cans. So I notice here that there is a cause and effect relationship. So it says that Richard read whatever he could find, like the old newspapers and the books that didn't have covers that were in ash cans, just like a trash can. Um, I'm wondering why did that happen? So first I'm going to go back into my story and read a little bit before that. It says, the doors of the library were shut against him because he was black. And it also said he couldn't buy or borrow the books he wanted badly. So I think the reason why it happened, the cause of him reading these old books that no one really wants anymore, is because he didn't have a choice. 
he really loved to read, and so that was his only option. So, cause, he loves to read, but he can't find any good books. He can't go to the library. Effect, he's reading these uh, newspapers and burnt up old books. So, I just told what was the cause and the effect of the story. Let's keep going. When Richard was 17, he caught a bus to Memphis. He hoped to find work, earn enough money to move to Chicago, where he could make a new life for himself in the North. Richard walked the hot streets looking for a job that would be his ticket to freedom. He saw many young men, like himself, searching for the same job, the same way out. He finally found a place in an optician's office. He polished eyeglasses, swept the floors, and ran errands for the white men. As long as he kept his head down, as long as he began every sentence with Sir, Richard was safe. So, here's my question to you guys. Why is he looking for a job? Hmm. So the effect is what happens. He's looking for a job. What's the cause? Why is he looking for a job? All right, let's keep going. At night, Richard returned to the boarding house where he had rented a room. To save money, he ate beans from the can, warmed by water from the tap. Listening to the noise of the street below his window, Richard felt a familiar hunger for words. There were thousands of books in the public library, but only white people could get a card, could take them out. But Richard had an idea. At work, he looked around the office, trying to find one man who might understand his hunger for books. Hmm. So, I want you guys to make a prediction here. So, he is so hungry for books, but he can't get into the library because it says that only white people are allowed to check books out. So, I want you to make a prediction. What do you think he's going to do to try and get in there and get a library book? Let's see if your prediction's correct. For the most part, they were like so many white men he had known before. They would never understand a black boy who wanted a library card. A black boy who wanted to read books even they didn't read. Only one man seemed different from the others. Jim Falk kept to himself, and the other men ignored him, as they ignored Richard. Several times, Richard had been sent to the library to check out books for him. One day, when the other men were out to lunch and Jim was eating alone at his desk, Richard approached him. I need your help, Richard said. Are you in some kind of trouble? Jim asked with a suspicious look. I want to read books. I want to use the library, but I can't get a card, Richard said, hoping Jim would not laugh in his face. What do you want to read? Jim asked cautiously. Novels, plays, history. So now I want you guys to practice your cause and effect. So what causes Richard to choose Jim as the person he wants to ask? So the effect is he decides that he's going to ask Jim to help him. What was the cause? Why does Richard choose Jim? Richard felt confused. His mind was racing so fast, he couldn't think of a single book. Jim said nothing, but reached into his desk and brought up a worn white card. He handed it to Richard. How will you use it? Jim asked. I'll write a note, Richard said, like the ones you wrote when I got books for you. All right, Jim said nervously, but don't tell anyone else. 
I don't want to get into trouble. No, sir, Richard promised. I'll be careful. All right. So for your last cause and effect for today, I want you to think, what is the reason why? Jim tells Richard to be careful. Why does he need to be careful? What's the cause of that? All right, you guys, so today we practice cause and effect. Remember that cause is why something happens and effect is what happens. And to figure it out, we look for a specific moment in the text. We read a little bit before and a little bit after to look for why something happens. And the reason good readers identify the cause and the effect is to help them understand why something happens in the text. And we will finish this book next time.